Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Avi Mdlangoma and today we are talking about things that I wish I knew when I was 20, 21 or 19, 20, 21 is that you don't have to fit in. Be yourself, be uniquely you. You don't have to have accolades and you don't have to have people applauding you for, for the things that they do and for nonsense. Like you really don't have to wait for validation. Validate yourself. Um, you don't have to wait for likes. You don't have to wait for people to like your things or like you um, have the courage to be disliked for the right things that you are trying to do because even when I came to Christ and lived my life with Christ and decided that I'm gonna live my life with Christ now and I don't care deep down in me I really cared um, there was a part of me that like I was holding on to my comfort spot, to my comfortability, to things I, and relationships that I didn't want to end. And God was like, you need to end this relationship. That's friendships, by the way. And I was like, but what am I gonna do if this person's out of my life? And God was like, I'm gonna bring in new people. And I'm like, no, I want these people. And you drag it and you drag it and you drag it and you drag it. But anyway, another thing that I would tell my younger self is that <laughs> stop sacrificing yourself for temporary things. Because I was sacrificing a whole lot of myself for things that were just going to be there for a night or a weekend or a day I sacrificed so much of myself I sacrificed sleep I sacrificed my body I sacrificed my peace I sacrificed money I sacrificed my faith I sacrificed my values my morals my standards for things that only lasted for a temporary time I wouldn't want you to go through all of that. Um, I feel like things that you can avoid, avoid them. People that you can avoid, avoid them. And if they are avoiding you, allow the avoidance to take place and flow with it. Because there is a reason behind it. Um, another thing I would say to my younger self, something I wish I knew in my 20s early 20s because now i'm in my late 20s child is that hmm, not everybody is your friend not everybody is your friend and not everybody wants the best for you some people actually like it when you sleep around some people like it when you are drunk they are happy when you are a mess. Then when you wake up the next day, they'll be like, Oh, Charmy, yesterday you did this. Yo. And you'll be like, are you happy about this? Are you, how come you are hyped about this? Because it's not a nice thing, you know. Your friends shouldn't be okay with the bad decisions that you make. It should not sit well with them. They should be able to correct you and be like, I have noticed that you have a new guy in your life right now. I don't think it's cool for you to be changing men the way you do. Your friends should be like that. Our friends should prioritize our mental health. Another thing I wish I knew Honestly speaking, I wish I had a mentor. I wish I had somebody to guide me when I was in my early 20s. Like, not my mom. 
my mom is going to come from the perspective of a mother. I wish I had somebody like a coach. Like, I wish I had me when I was in my early 20s. I wish I had me now. And that's why I try to pour myself out to people that are in their early 20s. And I, wish, I wish I had a person like myself. A person that is genuine, a person that can guide me and tell me when I'm wrong, a person that can rebuke me and tell me what I'm doing is not right and not laugh about it. A person that's going to come in love, a person that's going to tell me that I view it, I know you did what you did, I know you feel bad about it, but how can you get back up and walk this walk again? I wish I had a person like myself when I was 21. I honestly wish somebody would have drilled it into me that whatever bad decision you are making now is going to affect you in your future because some of the things that I did back then they were still haunting me I was like going crazy I was going nuts okay um, and that's why I drill this into people that be careful be careful of the things that you do today, the decisions you make today, because it's going to haunt you in your future. It's going to resurface and it could either destroy you or make you stronger. But some people don't make it. They fall into hardcore depression, you know. So for me, um, with counsel, with prayer, with my pastors and, and my sisters in Christ, I pulled through. I got into the relationship and I had to now share some of my past and I was like shucks I can't believe this why did I do this look how it's affecting me now and you 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 wanna not feel bad but you do feel bad you like if I did not do what I did back then it would not affect my current relationship be careful, we need to be careful of the things that you do. Sex, money, drugs, alcohol. Those things can destroy you. They can take away from your destiny. Another thing that I will tell my younger self that you need to be careful, child. You, you cannot think that you're the boss of life. You, you, you're just not the boss. You don't know what the heck you're doing. Um, another thing that I would tell myself is that mm -hmm. is to ask yourself why you are doing things. Ask yourself, what is the motive of what you're doing? What's the real reason why I'm doing this? My younger self, I would tell her, you don't have to pay a man back with your body. If a man is nice to you, he's nice, like take it and leave. But you don't have to pay with your body. Most of the time there's an intention of a man being nice to you. That's most of the time. And then you get the real, truly genuine people who are just generally nice, you know. But most of the time men are nice to us because they want something. How many men are going to come into your life and be nice and you feel like you need to be nice back with your body? You really don't have to. You don't have to be nice to a man. That's what I, I would tell my younger self. You can be nice from a distance. But the thing with females is that you, the minute you start being nice, you're like, oh, shame, man. You want to take it further. Next thing, you're laying down in his bed naked because of being nice yes i said it it all starts from being nice for no reason don't go with the flow okay find your rhythm find your flow and don't follow everybody else's flow follow your flow all right find yourself get in touch with yourself and follow that beat dance to your own rhythm to your own beat and right now my beat is god and back then it was still god but i neglected that 
so my thing is that if you are out there and you don't know what your beat what your beat is find yourself get in tune with yourself get in touch with yourself get get into who you really are and dance to your own beat we really don't have to go with the wind we don't have to be tossed and turned left right and center by other people's decisions and other people's flows we, we we need to really know who we are and get to know who we really are and what our rhythm and what our beat is and we dance to our own beat and own rhythm thank you so much for staying until this point if you liked the video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel this will help me to grow and reach more people there's definitely gonna be a part two of this i can feel it but have a good day for them learn grow and continue to be yourself